Okay, so what I'm going to cover now is going to be the Kipron range, right? And we're going to start off with the Kipron SD. Okay, Kipron SD, standing for SD, standing for short distance. Um, it's designed primarily for 10k runners. Um, the idea behind that is that people that are looking to go into performance distances and performance running um, that are going up to 10k's and then maybe further down the line, maybe look at half marathon, maybe full marathon um, in the future. All right, but the starting point is going to be 10k. So, how does the Cooper and SD do this? So, to start off with, I'm going to focus on the cushioning concept within the Cooper and SD. All right, you can see this small label at the very back, right? And um, that is known uh, that has got the K labelled on there. This is known as the K ring. All right, what stands for Kalenji ring. All right. Now, what is the Kalenji ring? All right, the Kalenji ring is a ring shape concept that's based within the midsole of the shoe. All right. What it does is it it more or less disperses any shockwave away from the floor. Right, the moment the foot strikes the floor from that point onwards. All right. By dispersing any shockwaves away from the floor, it means that your upper limbs take on less contact all right secondly all right what it also what an also standing out point for the um, Kalenji ring is it's 15 percent lighter and it provides 15 percent more cushioning all right moving further on from that into the midsole of the shoe right everything you'll see within the, this shoe is also built into the midsole Okay, so continuing on in terms of the midsole aspect of the shoe. Now, one of the standout points of the Kipron SD, right, that makes it different from the majority of running shoes is it's light and also it uses this concept here called the up bar. Now, what the up bar is, is an, it's, a, it's a propulsion concept. Now, what is propulsion? Propulsion is the point in which your stride pushes off and then allows you to accelerate and run faster. All right. By accelerating and running faster, it enables you to reward you and get those fast times that you're looking for as a performance runner. Okay, and there we go.